it's Sharon Lusky here from My Crafty Greetings and we are going to be using some Scrappy Tail supplies today but I'm also going to be using this paper pad and specifically I'm showing you the floral images here because we are going to be doing some spotlight die cutting uh, using a fabulous die that Sabrina at Scrappy Tails Crafts has designed and, uh, and back in the position of needing sympathy cards again. It just seems like this has been a really tough year for a lot of people. This would make a great card all on its own. So I've got the Flying Butterflies dies from Scrappy Tails Crafts and I'm cutting out the solid image in some little bit thicker weight paper here. And I'm gonna use this to search through and see which images I might like to have cut into this butterfly shape. And you could also use the um, folded butterfly as well for this type of uh, technique. You could use a circle, take a look through your dies. I specifically love Sabrina's die because it's well suited for my five by seven card making and that it's just such a great simple image and um, with the beautiful overlays that she has, it's very useful. And you can see as I turn that, there's lots of different options there. And this entire circle here make a great opportunity. So I'm cutting out the pieces that I know are going to uh, work for, for the cards that I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna give you a few examples so that you can see how I go ahead and put these cards together. So snip a little notch in the side and turn it across your image and make sure that it's showing you what you want to have on that butterfly's wings or if you're using a circle or square die what you want in the circle or square die and then you're just going to wiggle that in until it snaps into place there so now i can see it's caught it so i'm pushing it down gently enough to keep it in place and then pulling that off and i'm just going to tape it to send it through the die machine and now you can see isn't that cool, that butterfly? <laughs> so we're gonna do it here with the darker image as well. So I'm using my scrap frame to spotlight the image that I want to appear on my butterfly, popping my die into the space that it leaves, tape it down so it doesn't shift, and once it's through the die cutting machine, there we go, that's done. I love these two, I think they're great. But now we need to actually go through our paper again from this collection and shop for the paper that we're going to set these die cuts on. And you can see as you take them and you set them down, you can start to see what's gonna work and what isn't. Now don't forget too though, that you can also uh, punctuate these little die cuts by using um, a less busy background behind them. And that just gives you an idea of how to combine those papers together uh, by using some other elements that you might have in your stash. Oh, I really like how that looks. That looks good too. <laughs> Now one of the easiest ways to pull your card together is to really consider some of these cut-aparts. And uh, you can start to layer things up and pull together uh, a complete look just with those components. So you see here, I'm just looking around. There's lots that would work. I'm just looking for what's gonna, wow, I like that. <laughs> what's gonna work best for the card that you're doing? Now those two might be a little flashy for a sympathy card. That's nice because it's soft. Some of these images may even just work because using the outside edge of the paper for the layer on your card base is what's gonna be best for you. That's a little too busy. Now I like to use a cutter like this because I can see where my blade is going to cut on the paper. And then once I have my cut aparts, don't forget you can always reshape them, uh, size them down. You could even die cut them if you've got a die that you want a larger um, shape die that you wanna cut them out with. But now that I've got it, I'm gonna take little pieces from the different pages in the pad and I'm gonna to start to look at how they work together. And as I start layering things and kind of looking at what I've got, all of a sudden I see something and I go, hey, that's it. Now the one thing that I need to fix here is the background's a little dark to display this butterfly. So I grabbed some vellum and die cut it. And I've noticed that this is a bit too busy, so I'm gonna use the oval. Now I've decided on this beautiful blue background and the one thing that this is gonna need is some gold elements to pull it all together. So I'm gonna be adding some gold layers to my strip here as well as to my cut apart. And I wanna make sure that the little reveal of the gold is slim enough that it actually works in harmony with the lines on that cut apart as well as uh, the lines on those little leaves from the strip that I've chosen. I'm gonna pop this up with some of my packing foam sheets here and I'm using ATG to attach it to the back of this 
layer and I'll be using some uh, glue later on. Those are my two combos for being able to make this stick. Now I cut this extra long, the strip in the background, because I'm going to move it up and down to make sure that the flowers that show maximize the look of the layer that I'm adding here. And I also am going to add some marks to where the middle of my card is so that I can try and get this centered and line it up properly and generally find if you don't glue it down too hard you can gently pull it up and wiggle it around until you get it perfect. I'm going to stick this down with Tombow Mono Multi and then I'm going to do something else to this butterfly and this is why I love this die set. So you see these two peaks here or where the points are on the butterfly wing? I'm gonna cut straight across from one point to the other and I'm gonna take this butterfly and line up the top portion so that there's a little tiny gold reveal and then I'm gonna line up the bottom portion so there's a little gold reveal. And because of the way this particular butterfly is made, you can't tell that that isn't an entire rim of gold all the way around that little butterfly. Now I'm gonna use some of my ATG. I just kind of wad it up into a little strip here. And the reason I'm doing that is that much liquid glue would actually make my vellum wrinkle. So here's a good trick for keeping your sentiments straight because we're gonna need it on this. Put your um, washi tape down, line your sentiment up with that and you're good to go. Just make sure if it's hanging over, you don't let them stick down because we're gonna flip this over to glue it. Now I'm adding a couple little white dots behind this, the top of the W, the peak of the H, and behind the dot of the I so that I can get this perfectly lined up. I need to dab some of the glue off so it doesn't squish out and I'm just using an extra piece of paper. And now I've got my tweezers, I can get the peak of the W, the I, and the little hook on the H and we get that all stuck into place and there's no glue squishing out from my sentiment and it's perfectly straight. So I'm going to flip it over, give it an extra good squish and I'm going to take another piece of ATG again and I'm just going to kind of give it a little twist in so that it ends up like a little tiny rope behind here. And you know what? That nobody is going to be able to see. Now where the uh, actual lettering is a little more open on the W, I give it a little bit of a wiggle, but once I get this lined up again and stuck down, you will not even be able to see what I stuck it down with. Let's curl up the butterfly wings here, give that some dimension. I think butterflies are one of the prettiest elements that you can add to a sympathy card. And there's that great set. You not only get the uh, full-on version of the butterfly, you get the side view of the butterfly. And there's this card. Now I'm gonna show you some more examples so that you can see exactly how I take these spotlight die cut images and make them work in three different cards. So here's my next card. I picked out another element here and you can see that this is not going to fit on my entire 5x7 card. We're going to have to lose some of the image. And since I can't see through paper, I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to line it up so that it fits on my card base and I used my thumbnails to make sure that it was lined up properly too because then I could feel. Now we're going to grab this other butterfly here and we're going to do that little trick again of cutting the gold butterfly in half adding a little bit of glue on the top half and then sliding it into place so that we have a little tiny gold rim reveal. And you could do this like with gold or silver or black on a lighter colored butterfly or you could do like a hot pink one if you wanted to do something pretty for a little girl. Black with hot pink would be cool. Or you could do them with a little rim showing and an entire rainbow assortment of butterflies. So I've grabbed one of my favorite with sympathy dies and I wanted to kind of tie this butterfly in and ground it with the rest of it. And I thought if I use some of that gray um, paper that it would work, but I decided it needed to just be pinking out from the back of my sentiment. Now I used some flat um, reversible tweezers and put that into place. And that way I'm not adding extra glue gunk all over the front of my card. <laughs> And I'm giving it a good squish down. I don't know why squishing it more makes you feel like you've done a better job sticking it. Now because there's foil paper behind these butterflies, these butterflies don't need foam tape to hold them up. They're going to have enough stiffness and dimension all on their own and you're just going to put one strip of glue behind that to glue it down 
and that's gonna do the job. Now I took some uh, little gold bobble things that I got from the dollar store and I just scattered them around just to add some extra interest and some extra movement to the front of this card. So there's one more card done with that awesome butterfly set. Don't forget as well, uh, my last video that I released showed how to use the butterflies with all the detailed die cut. This butterfly set from Scrappy Tails is just so first versatile and has so many opportunities to use it. Okay, I love this really busy paper, but I need something to calm it down so I can display that butterfly. And I found this cut apart was great, and I'm gonna be using the other end to spotlight cut another butterfly. But I'm just gonna cut this piece off and add it as a layer over top of that background. And then I've got two butterflies here that I can choose from. You can see this one is too busy. So I picked the less busy butterfly and we're gonna add some foam to pop up the back of this here. Are you starting to come up with some ideas in your own mind of paper that you might have in your stash that you can do this with? Check out your different die cut shapes too and see what you've got. I do love this butterfly though and it was awesome that it had the solid shape as well as the detail shape. So I'm looking for some organza ribbon here and I have a wad that I rescued from a invitation making set. And I'm gonna show you how I tie my bows with my fingers. The reason I do it this way is I like both of the tails to be at the back of my bow as well as it makes a much fluffier, much prettier bow when I'm done. <laughs> so if you want me to do a slower tutorial of this, just let me know down in the comments and uh, I'll do what I can. Anything that you want to see with more specifics, just leave me a comment below um, or just even let me know that I'm doing a good job because I got to tell you it fills my crafty tank up and keeps me roaring when it comes to making cards and making these videos for you all to enjoy. So I cut the tabs off of there and I'm just checking it out to see where it needs to go. I know it's a little bit too big so I'm gonna cut the little tails off a tiny bit shorter here. And yep, that's got it. And I want to do a strip so I'm just gonna put some ATG on the back here. Over top of the foam is gonna be fine. Wrap that baby around and then I'm going to get some of my glue and get it glued down here. Now at this point, if you haven't subscribed yet, I sure would love it if you would. And I get up to all kinds of crafty shenanigans in here that uh, hopefully you will enjoy. If you hit the subscribe button and the bell, I'll tell you what, if you ever later on think that I'm doing a terrible job, just unsubscribe. I'm okay with that. But at the very least, hit subscribe and give me one more chance because I sure would appreciate it. Now I'm taking another of my little glue bits here and attaching it to the back of the bow. And then I'm also gonna take one more piece because I don't like the ribbons when they jump around. I'm gonna ball it up and put it on a little paddle here and slide it in behind the bow. So I've got my With Sympathy stuck down and I'm going to figure out where this butterfly needs to go, get it situated. And <laughs> When I was doing all of this, I realized that I'd lost the tittle to my with sympathy. Makes me nuts. I don't know where they go. Something in my craft room is eating them every time I die cut something that needs a dot on an eye. So I just got out a hole punch here and punched me out a couple more tittles and I'm gonna put them in place and nobody's gonna know the difference. And don't you tell them either. <laughs> so that's gonna be pretty much it other than maybe adding a couple little baubles here and there. I'll have these products listed in my affiliate links in my drop down box below. And if you are one of those awesome people that have used my affiliate links for your purchases, thank you so much. You are amazing. And if you haven't clicked those affiliate links yet, what are you waiting for? Go check out these awesome products. This is a great company and Sabrina is a wonderful new business owner. She designed these with her grandma and we all would really, really appreciate your support. Never mind that, she can see that you've clicked from my video. Have an awesome day, bye.